Okay, seems to be 80s TV nostalgia week on the channel, so why not continue that with some vehicles? So, we've got Magnum's Ferrari 308 GTS. This is a Corgi collection. Uh, it doesn't actually say Magnum anywhere. I don't think they actually released it officially. But there's no denying that's his car. So then, not TV, but in the same collection. James Bond's Aston Martin with a DB5. The little guy there that ejects. Next to the ejector seat. And you've got the guns at the front. And the bullet plate at the back. So, I'm not sure on the year this was released. 86. So, there. then we move into Inspector Moore's territory with his Jaguar was it, X4. Like I said, I don't know the cars, but I do like the look of them. 2.4, sorry. There you go. It says on the back. No details. So there's that. And then can't have, I think it's more 90s, but I don't know. Lovejoy's Morris Minor. Which is from the antique seller Rogue TV show. But there we go, let's put that one there. Then we move up. Oh, this one's 70s, but I think it may have ran into the 80s. But it's all part of the Corgi collection anyway, so. But cheap with the cardboard standing of Gojack instead of a plastic one, but. Cars in great condition. There was another version which had a guy leaning out the window and then you could roll a wheel and it would make like gunshots. But it wasn't that version. All right, then 70s and a film, so it doesn't really count, but it's more corgi. It's the underwater Lotus Esprit. So it had all these features where the press that button was it that button? Now that button on the front, I think the wings come out and the back extends and there's a front thing that extends. And then there's rocket launchers at the back. So if you flick that switch, little red pellets come flying out. But that's a nice one to have. Then move into the bigger boxes. Another 70s show that ran into the 80s. The Professionals, CI5 which they had a Capri gear and you got tiny figurines that sort of resemble the, the actors but it was this is a British action TV series of the 70s uh, much like Return of the Saint because Roger Moore was the saint in the 60s and Ian Ogilvy was the saint in the 70s, maybe 80s. So he didn't have the same picture on his car, I don't believe, in the TV show. I don't remember seeing the bonnet that much. But he had a Jaguar XJS. So there's some more details. It's a pretty good James Bond TV series, sort of. Then the Red Tomato, a Ford Grant Torino. Oh, this one's got. Metal characters of Starsky and Hutch. Which one's Starsky? Which one's Hutch? But yeah, it's an awesome paint job. Except in the pilot episode, the uh, there's two people with this car because some kids get accidentally killed because they have the same car as the heroes. And of course, you've got Kit, the Pontiac Trans Am, which is just an updated version of the Smokey and the Bandit car, but there's a nice faceless Michael. And this is just the uh, standard car, not the Super Pursuit mode one. There we go, so that's a nice one. A couple more. The 18 van. Now, this is where it gets into a discrepancy. The 18 van, I don't believe, I can't remember if it's a 
Mandela effect is actually two tone. So the back, top back, is a different color to the bottom right. Which is, so this is like a dark gray or a light gray in some scenes, but there's Mr. T, proud owner. But I need to do some research on that to see what's what. And finally, the controversial one, the Dukes of Hazard. So you got Bo and Luke, or is that the cousins from the was it, later series that came in because of a pay dispute? But the General Lee, so it's a lovely orange. So it's the Dodge Charger. Doing the jumps. Oh, it's a bit loose, but there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Here under the lesson.